Hi, I'm Mr. Phil and I'm here to tell you all about Sugo. Sugo combines sumo wrestling and Lego bricks to create a fun, action-packed competition for kids. Kids get excited about creating crazy solutions to this fun game challenge. Innovation and adaptation are the hallmarks of Sugo. So, why is Sugo such a great STEM activity? There's lots of reasons, so let's go down the list. It turns out that everyone loves fighting robots. Plus, Lego blocks are a familiar play environment. Mindstorms just build on that legacy. Sugo provides a competitive environment where the robots make physical contact, not the kids. Sugo is simple to learn, but difficult to master. It helps develop technical and strategic skills. Sugo provides an excellent demonstration of the many physical STEM concepts. We call it Sugo Science. Sugo lets the players experience a very short design cycle. Think, create, evaluate, and then repeat. Sugo events can be adapted to a wide range of ages and activity periods. At primary school, the kids can work with parent supervision. It's a great way for technical mums and dads to get involved with developing their kids' skills. At elementary school, you only need a supervision for a teams rather than individuals. Well, we put these arms and so it would grab the other players' cords because some of them stick right out. So it can grab the track and flip them over. At the middle school level, you just need supervision for the overall event. The kids will work fine together as a team. <laughs> high school, the kids can develop advanced attachments or act as event leaders. At college, the kids can be event leaders or interact with the kids as educators. Sugo is based on the LEGO Mindstorm robotics system. So, to build your robots, you can start with either the second generation NXT kit or the third generation EV3 kit. But to make your robot be a real Sugo robot, you need a couple of extras. You need a sensor upgrade kit. What this will do is it add an additional line sensor to detect the edge of the ring, Sugo eyes to see the opponent, and some short cables to make your robot more compact. To actually run a competition, you need a Sugo field kit. So the field kit includes the sumo ring, a very solid rigid surface for great play, and a sizing box to ensure that all the robots are legal. We want it to be really easy for you to have your own Sugo competitions and use Sugo for STEM education. So we provided a ton of resources on the sugobot.com website. I'll run down some of the things that you can find there just so you can see how easy it is to do your own events. The first thing you're going to need is software. If you go to the downloads page, you'll find there's software for both the NXT and the EV3 Mindstorm kits. There's really two components that you'll be using. Sugo, which knows how to play the game, and Mechanic, which knows how to diagnose any problems with your robot. Once you've downloaded these, you can load them into the Mindstorm software and transfer them to your robot. We also have a bunch of other support materials that you can use. For example, we have a simple SugoBot design for both the NXT and the EV3, and we have a full online manual that takes you through this step by step, so that's great for beginner builders. We also have competition forms that you can download and use for registering teams and during inspections. An important part of all competitions is scoring. So we have a downloadable brackets spreadsheet that you can use to run your competitions. This will work for anywhere from 3 to 16 teams. We like to give away awards to our winners and runners up, so we've provided some graphics that you can print out and laminate as bookmarks uh, to hand out at the end of a competition. We also have our Sugo Science posters that can be downloaded and printed at full size. So to summarize, if you already have Mindstorm kits, Sugo is a great way to leverage your existing investment in a way that is easy on the instructors and great fun learning for the kids. Or if you're thinking about getting started with robotics, 
then SUGO is a great introductory step which feeds directly into other great robotic activities like First Lego League, which uses all the same hardware and software. SUGO can even be used to create fundraising events to support other STEM teams and activities. At this point, all that's left to say is... Ready, set, SUGO! Go! Third be the final match. Team number one, Simon Pink wins. Oh.